why yes this is a skull beanie because I am like super cool hi guys welcome back to my channel today we are going dumpster diving I'm kidding kind of not really we're gonna be looking at my trash so for like the past I don't know six ish months I don't know since I started YouTube I have been saving up my beauty trash my makeup everything that I have used up and thrown out and whatever and we're just gonna go through it and I'm gonna give you little mini reviews on the products because I love watching empties videos I don't know what it is literally you're just looking at somebody else's trash but it's cool I feel like this beanie makes my head look way too fat for my body I'm just gonna film the rest of the video like this kidding first up is this charmed aroma coconut mango body butter I got this because I really wanted to try out their candles because all their candles come with rings in them and I can't have candles so I got a body butter instead it was a little bit expensive I'll leave links to everything down below um, but I actually really really enjoyed this body butter I thought it was super moussey super creamy super hydrating loved it would repurchase the only sucky part is that the ring inside didn't fit I ended up giving it away it was a very pretty ring but you can't choose the ring size with the body butter so that kind of sucked this is a Johnson's baby oil because it is all I shave my legs with it is way cheaper than shaving cream and it works better too I have some empty face mask boxes these are both Sephora face masks green tea this one is pomegranate I've used a bunch of these but the little like clear containers get really icky so I throw those parts out but I've definitely used at least two of each of these in the last six months I'm obsessed go get them you need them in your life they'll change your face they'll change your life they'll change your face I used up this tiny sample of the Biscaya detoxifying black cleanser you can barely read the words anymore because it's really beat up because I used the shit out of this and then I bought a bigger version which I am still using so I definitely recommend this I love it this is a tiny little covergirl eyeliner in the shade 805 it is brown and it is dried out so in the trash this is literally the only deodorant I have ever used and will ever use. It is the Dove Go Fresh Cool Essentials Cucumber and Green Tea Scent. And I like this because it lasts for a really long time and does its job as a deodorant. But it also doesn't like mix with perfumes that you put on and smell really bad. It's just a very mild, clean smelling deodorant. I have a couple bags of empty face wipes in here. These are the Neutrogena Oil Free Cleansing Wipes in Pink Grapefruit for acne prone skin didn't hate these didn't love these the smell was kind of overpowering um but they did do the job again my only qualm with face wipes like these is that i, I can't use them on my eye makeup because they burn my eyes so i wouldn't repurchase any of these i just get baby wipes i also have the yes to cucumbers soothing hypoallergenic facial wipes i was not a huge fan of these they did the job but they also kind of left my face feeling greasy and then this is a little sample makeup wipe thing that I got from Ipsy there, the Symphony Beauty Makeup Cleansing Wipes in Cucumber and Aloe Vera. I did like these, again, can't use them on my eyes, so they really only do like 50% of the makeup removing work, but I didn't hate them, so I still probably want to repurchase these. I'm just not a makeup wipe person. I am a baby wipe person. <laughs> That sounds really weird. <laughs> I have two containers of Batiste in here. This is literally the best dry shampoo you will ever use in your life. I have used so many other brands, high-end, cheap brands, and this works magic. These are both in the clean and classic original scent. They're the best scent personally. Again, I feel like the other ones are just a little too perfumey and these don't mix with any perfumes that I put on. They're just clean and classic. Batiste is the best dry shampoo. I don't know what else to tell you guys. I have a tiny little Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. I've had this for forever and I either use it all or it dried out. So I do have a bigger one of these that I purchased. It is not like my favorite eyeshadow primer, but it does a decent job. So I have repurchased this. This is the Briogeo Rizarco Milk Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. I got this tiny sample from Ipsy. And if you've watched some of my like original videos from a couple of months back I say like original videos like I've been doing this for forever but it's only been like six months or something um, I talked about this I really really love this I've purchased it in a full size it is a little expensive but it makes my hair look and feel amazing so I definitely 
recommend this and I've definitely repurchased this. A couple of eye care products in here because I wear contacts. I'm very blind, so this is the Clear Care Solution that I use, literally the only one that I use. And I go through about one of these a month, so I definitely should have more in here. I just throw them away on accident. And then these are the Blink Contacts Lubricating Eye Drops. I just really like the Blink brand eye drops, guys. Back to some more relatable makeup products. This is the Styly Style Line and Seal Twist Eyeliner in 174 Topaz. I really like this. I used to use this a lot in high school as just like a liner with some mascara and it just makes your eyes kind of pop, especially if you have green eyes. It's just that perfect goldeny topaz color. I've used all of this little Formula X top coat and I have repurchased this again and again because I really love Formula X. You've seen me talk about it. You know how obsessed I am. I have a Pantene Smooth and Sleek 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner here because I don't know why I bought this and I just want to warn you guys, do not use this. I didn't like it, especially if you have thin or fine hair because I have very fine hair and it just made my hair look disgusting and greasy so I really did not like this Pantene shampoo but I really do like Pantene shampoos in general, just not this 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner. Like why would I even buy that? I don't know. I have two very, very squeezed out and empty toothpaste. These are both the Crest 3D White in the Radiant Mint. This is literally my favorite toothpaste ever. Keeps my teeth real white and I don't have to whiten them. So I really do like these and I just buy these constantly in packs. This is the saddest empty ever. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in the shade 117 equals Y225. I got this from Ipsy. I absolutely love this. I'm actually going to save this empty because I need to repurchase this in a full size foundation. It did wonders for my skin. It makes your skin look so smooth and airbrushed. I loved this. Definitely a repurchase. It's a little bit on the expensive side, but it is worth it in my opinion. This is the Olay Quench Ultra Moisture Body Lotion. I really liked this. It kind of reminds me of the Loloctane brand lotions. I don't think I'm pronouncing that right, but that's kind of what it reminds me of. It is ultra moisturizing, very creamy. It soaks into your skin beautifully. I definitely will repurchase this in the future, but I have a couple of other like body care lotion items that I need to go through first. I have two more eyeliners in here. This is the Maybelline Master Smoky by Eye Studio in Smoldering Violet. I bought this because I really wanted to try smoky eyes like way back when in like high school when I was starting to get into makeup and I hated this. You can't do squat with it. It doesn't blend. It's not buildable. I should have thrown it out years ago but I just, I can't throw things out. And then this is the Rimmel London Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer in the shade 270 Purple Shock. I actually really like this. It looks really good with my green eyes, but it is empty and all dried up. I have another item from Brio Gio in here. This is the Don't Despair Repair Gel to Oil Overnight Repair Treatment. I absolutely love this. I think it makes my hair look super amazing. It helps with any like little flakes on my scalp if my scalp gets dried out from washing it too much. So I definitely like this. I did repurchase this recently in the same tiny size because the full size is a little expensive, but I do recommend this. You should definitely try it out. Go see if you can get a sample at like Sephora or something because it's really cool. This is the Fresh Sugar Rose Lip Treatment SPF 15. I used this to the very end. Like I just tried to scrape out as much of it as I could because I love this stuff. I repurchased it in a kit with a couple of other like makeup items and one of those Sephora like lip favorite kits. So I've already shown you that. It was in my something haul. I don't know. I'll link it down below, but I love this stuff. It's really moisturizing. It's got a little bit of a rosy tint, so it's perfect for everyday wear and the SPF makes it perfect for Florida. So definitely like it. I have two more face cleansers in here. This is the Biore Deep Pore Charcoal Cleanser. I have already repurchased this. Have I repurchased this? I don't know, but I did like it. I did not like it as much as the Boscaya version, but this is a very good cheap alternative to that. And then this is the First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser, and you all know I love First Aid Beauty. I've repurchased this multiple times. It is my go-to go to face cleanser so definitely try out some of the first aid beauty products because 
This one's bomb. All of their products are bomb. I also have a giant bottle of Gold Bond Healing Lotion with Aloe in here because I use this literally like every night before I go to sleep because I hate that feeling of waking up with dry hands. I can't, I can't deal with it. So this is super moisturizing. And then I just kind of use other moisturizers underneath it. That sounds kind of weird, but I'll use like a super deep moisturizer underneath it and then I use this on top of it to kind of like lock in the moisture. It's a giant bottle. It's like as big as my head. <laughs> this is yet another item that I got from Ipsy. This is the Delectable Ultra Nourishing Hand Cream in the scent Coconut and Cream. I loved this scent. I loved this. The one weird thing was that I felt like the more I used it, the less it actually moisturized my hand and I don't know if that's just because the products are drying out or because I just didn't use it fast enough because the products in it are super fresh and super natural. I don't know, but I would definitely repurchase this probably. I have a lot of hand creams that I need to go through so it'll be a while before I get back to this. And then last but not least, this is the Hey Honey Good Morning Honey Silk Facial Serum. I got this from Ipsy as well, this tiny little sample, and I loved it so much that I purchased the full size. It is a tad bit expensive, but it was what my skin really needed at the time. It needed a lightweight moisturizer that kind of just soaked into my skin and didn't break me out, so I really, really liked this at the time. I'm still kind of like rotating through other moisturizers like facial moisturizers right now but this is still one of my like go-to favorites for the morning so that is all of my makeup and beauty trash for the last like six months i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it's kind of a weird one like looking at my trash with me but i feel like it's a cool like short little snippets and reviews of tiny products that i have used up so i hope you guys enjoy watching this empty video as much as I enjoy watching other people's empties videos. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below and tell me what is your favorite beauty product that you have used up. If you want to see some more of me, definitely click that subscribe button below. I would love to have you here. We can look at some more trash in a couple of months when I've accumulated enough to make a video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.